I'm here in TV Lines Comic Con Lounge, sponsored by ZTE with the cast of Grimm. Welcome, guys. Yay. The last time we saw Nick and Renard, mm -hmm. Mr. Mayor, should yes. I call you? Thank you. Um, there was a big WTF moment at the end of last season, and we Totes. pick up right from there, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What can you tease about? I mean, like, is Renard like, well, that was weird, and I'm going to try to kill you anyway? Just, uh, what is it? Just a five minute hug, I believe, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's the longest hug it's on the TV. The longest yeah. hug. I get into his turtleneck with him. <laughs> <laughs> It's beautiful. Talk to me about that relationship this year. We've seen Renard pull away from the group and, and be mm -hmm. more with Black Claw. Um, but both Black Claw and Hadrian's Wall are not doing so well no. as we start the season. No, I think they've been relatively decimated at yeah, this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. They they definitely lost don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, they, Eve they, is still in the picture. There could be a resurgence. Oh, well, we're, get, we're getting to Eve in a minute because yeah. she's got some stuff going on too. Well, we'll see what happens. But I mean, Black Claw and Hadrian's Wall definitely took a beating. And so I think it's basically the two men standing in the room are like kind of leading, leading the fight at this point. Did they sort of neutralize each other? In some way. Yeah. yeah they're kind of both white. So then the two leaders of the pack are left. Yeah. Okay, and the rest of Nick's pack are down in the tunnels where sure. Eve is having a major freak out. It's an Eve freak out. So I don't know about how, how major it is, but she is starting to, um, after she was so badly injured, she's starting to have feelings again for the first time in a very long time and some guilt. So you will definitely see uh, a little bit of a push pull psychologically with her as far as like whether or not Juliet is really That's starting to creep back in. So is she having Eve's feelings? Juliet's feelings? Eve only has one feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Um, it's, it's still Eve. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I think that's going to be something that is uh, resolved throughout the course of season six. But for now, she's still Eve, but she kind of just had a, a, a very volatile wake up moment. Adeline is wearing a ring she cannot take off <laughs> without yes. bad things happening. Yes. How will that affect her mm -hmm. flow for the next season? Um, it'll certainly affect the flow. Uh, the ring, yeah, this, 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 like, the, I don't know. I mean, she doesn't know exactly what will happen. Mm -hmm. um, but the last time that she upset Bonaparte, he, she was um, invisibly strangled. <laughs> So it would probably be very bad, but yeah, I think she's you know she's really trying to figure out how to protect her children and stay with her children um, while you know un under under lock and key with uh, from this this evil. At least one of her children doesn't seem to need much protecting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's that a is good good. Job. <laughs> Whoever wants to chime in on this, Diana, is she a force to be reckoned with this season? There's going to be a lot of trying to direct her energy toward good. Just like parenthood. Um, exactly. Just like real parenthood. It's uh... <laughs> <laughs> with a demon. Child. Direct your child towards the good. That's all you can really do. I think yeah. I think that that's probably one of the more interesting characters <laughs> going into season six because she's the fans aren't that familiar with her yet, and it's so unpredictable completely like we don't know the limit to her powers what she's going to do next who she gets mad at who she loves like where her loyalties lie so i actually think she's great yes. she's great yeah. filming yeah, with her awesome. is like you she does her thing and you're you completely freaked out because of the way she does it yeah she's so good. funny she's too. really good like the scene when the scene when the first time that she closes a door using her mind <laughs> Um, on set, it was the funniest thing because, like, she she the door closes and to see her little body, like her little legs, just like <laughs> walk out, just like so chipper, chipperly, uh, was awesome. Like she just Hannah has a great sense of humor and a great uh, sense of kind of what what the job is. So. She does look like a mini Claire though. She does. Yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. that's yeah. why. Yeah. <laughs> she's like so cute, <laughs> beautiful. She's like, yeah. She's like a marionette version of that. <laughs> so while we're on the topic of kids, I know that the fans have wanted a Monroe's mm -hmm. baby for a really long time, and they are getting it. A litter. A litter. <laughs> a furry yeah. little litter. And happening at kind of the worst possible time for yes, the group. Yes, because it's great. That's what the writers like to do. They like to have a great thing happen in the absolutely worst possible time, or the worst thing happen at the best time. Are we going to see that baby born this season? So far, I'm still just pregnant. Because we go back right, you know, where we left off. So mm -hmm. we'll see. I don't know. I, I. Although the gestational period for 
I know there's so many unknowns. Seven weeks. We don't know exactly how long it takes for this to happen. Yeah, it could totally happen. We don't know how many episodes. It's the gestation period. I want a shot like where like you know when women breastfeed and they like kind of drape it, but like because you're a fox. There's like seven babies. <laughs> Two boxes. Oh, and it's like all three. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, it'll be tastefully done, but no. I want that oh, to be a reference. No. Of course. I mean. I'm going to have like a 12 page writer on this year's contract. <laughs> yeah, smart. Smart. Whatever happens, we're going to see it on the floor cosplaying next year, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, totally. The season was trimmed. Do we know? We, do we have a final episode count for the season yet? We just have an I'm order. I'm pretty sure it's 13. We have a 13 yeah. order, it's right, yeah. and it's still up in the air. One of which you are directing. Yeah, that's right. I'm doing the third episode, but we're filming it first. Mm -hmm. So everybody's bending over backward, and it's like, I'm very grateful for the pain and the continuity ass, all the actors. I'm like, oh great, we get to do the third episode come. first? <laughs> I know. Right, Jim Tully? The writers did a really cool thing because it's David's first directing job, and so he really feasibly could not direct and be in every single scene. So the way they kind of wrote him out of it a lot is really Oh, it's a sassy really way. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be very happy. Yeah. So in these 13 episodes, um, are we going to get a woman who's not going to try to kill Hank? <laughs> and are we going to get more on Neander Wu? Probably not, because then it wouldn't be grim. She's going to have some Hank, like, like Evelyn in her or some <laughs> sense, right? I, I imagine, you know, but don't nobody bring me no bad news. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. It'll be fun, though. And are there other Neanderthal? Woos? No, well, around? no, there's no. <laughs> Other Neander Wu, but like, are, is there any chance of him running into anyone else who's got this like hip throw? Other Neander oh, people. Oh God. Other Neander people. Uh, uh, maybe a Neander lady. Some under <laughs> underground clothes. Uh, perhaps Neander will have a yeah. Neander lady. Neander chick. Uh, or Neander chick. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's definitely more Neander Wu so to come. I mean, the, it's it's still it's still him <laughs> grappling with how to deal trick. with this and the excitement of it all. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. So um, and also frustrating. So that, uh, coupled with the rest of the stuff going on, it's it's you know, I mean, it's it's crazy. It's it's a crazy season. It's we've gotten the first three episodes, because you know David Gentoli has to direct the third one, so we, all, we have oh, to know okay. all three. That's <laughs> true. And there is a lot of Neander Wu in the third episode, so it's going deep. Does this feel like it might be a final season? Would you guys be okay with it, the, where the story is? We've been talking Lord. about that for three years. I know. Like, is this the end? We don't know. I think it is something though that the kind of like you kind of treat every season like oh like let's enjoy be let's enjoy Portland, exactly. let's enjoy exactly. each other let's go out to let's do yeah. stuff together we do that because we, we definitely don't, you know unanimously and maybe it's just where we came from you know and in our ages I don't know we've just always been very present and very appreciative and it's just been a super fun ride yeah it's it's definitely it's a gratitude season not a funeral season.